Uh, yeah, this is Bang Bang Ray Hill, just a little little video, really, uh, about uh, Billy Blundell, Essex Boys, and all that little firm, yeah. I, I mean, Billy Blundell, nice guy, mate. Uh, met him in Mayston. I've never seen Bill before in my life, you know. But I have heard about him, I've read about him. Um, I've read about what, what he was like as a person, him and Eddie. And I know, I remember that they, they used to own ice cream uh, vans and all that, a big game war about ice cream vans. But they come out, they come out on top, yeah. But it was a bit petty, really, uh, for the for, for what was involved, the money wise uh, sort of thing. So uh, Bill Billy Blunt a bit, uh, got really heavy, uh, was doing other things. I mean, he got done for for a big uh, what is it, Infectmin Factory? I think did he get eight years or something as well. But um, the, you know, I liked I liked him a lot when I was in when I as I say when I was in uh, Mason with Bill. And walking around with Ricky Curley, I mean, I remember him telling us that, yeah, mate, one day the Essex boys are going to go. They're just taking taking liberties. Uh, I'm in here. Uh, nothing I can do, but uh, they're sort of taking over. They're thinking they're, they're, they're bashing people up for no for no reason at all, especially that big geezer Tate, which is a complete out and that bully. I keep saying that on my podcast, and I keep saying, they keep saying, no, he wasn't, he, he wasn't a bully, 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 but when he got involved in the steroids, and coke together, it don't ma- ma- uh, ma- it don't uh, it don't uh, what's he call it? It don't it don't match. I was on it myself. I got on the coke, uh, and I also got on the cr- on the crack, and I also got on the steroids. I was about twenty two stone on the steroids, massive mate, powerful, powerful. Got on got on the roids as well. Got on the crack. Got on everything like that, mate, and I became a lunatic. Uh, hurting people for no reason, and it's no, it's not a good, good drug. And me getting put in prison saved my life, and saved other people's lives. Yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, is it Woolard? 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 I think it was a guy called Woolard. Uh, he was a proper proper gangster. Woolard. He was a hard hard man. Um, but you know, you hear little tales uh, about their Essex boys, Tate and all that, tried to bully Woolard into doing things, and Woolard wouldn't stand for that, mate. He was on their case. He wouldn't have it from them. He said, yeah, you don't frighten me, boys. You better go somewhere else because you're going to come right and stuck. And they run away, mate. They put the towels between their legs. Their legs, that Essex mob, and they went. And they went, uh, they went. The only one, the, the, the only one is that that's uh, Carlton Leach. Uh, that was about now. I, I like to meet Carlton Leach. I like to have a talk to Carlton Leach. I, I like him. He talks a bit of sense. Um, the films he's made, uh, well, put what he's told, what he's involved with. Um, you know, he's a nice, nice geezer, uh, I think. And uh, Colton Leach, and uh, I'd love to, love to have a podcast with him and find out more about the Essex Boys, more about Tate and how they got involved in his crack and all that and, 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 and coke, you know, and steroids and the people they was hurting. I mean, who was the other one they got involved with? Was it Pritchard, was it? Pritchard? Yeah, Pritchard, I think. I think I'm. Oh, uh, was it Pritchard? Yeah, Pritchard. They got involved with Pritchard. Uh, he had Genesis, didn't he? Uh, the Raves, doing all the Raves. Uh, we had a Rave, you know. Uh, it was called uh, Energy. Uh, it's a big company, Energy. And what I, what I used to do is go around farms um, looking for electric and uh, looking for for uh, like well a mortar, electric and mortar. And if I found found it. I'd go and uh, get hold of get older the farmer, and say I'd offer you X amount of money. Can we come in? And sometimes the farmers would say yes, and we give them a little few few pennies. And sometimes they say no, but we still go in and connect the electric, collect the water. By the time the police got involved, it was raving. It was going crazy, and they couldn't stop it anyway. They just let it fizzle out, yeah. And everybody's going home. I mean, everybody enjoyed yourself. I mean, you're dancing for 15 hours, sometimes 20 hours, non-stop, on his ease, yeah? On his ease, 15 hours, 20 hours, non-stop. Do you know I swear? Mad, did not it? And everybody's loving each other. Everybody's no, there isn't no hate. And that drug should be put, that drug should be put about now in London, shouldn't it? No one's, no one's going stabbing people. Everybody just loves people, yeah? And I was told that uh, that Pritchard, uh, when he employed he employed uh, t- Tate, he, p- he employed Tate and he pulled all the Essex boys to help him out um, on them raves. Uh, they see, they see that uh, the money was crazy. How much money was being took over? 
over when people walked in, over the counter as such, really. You know, there was untold money, just a few phone calls here and there, and people by the millions would come to the waves. You know, and it was fantastic the way they'd done it, all done it through the radio, you know, word to mouth, mate, and it was like, my mate Ray Sullivan owned a big uh, a ticket drone company, and he was like, he said, it's crazy, man, he just picked the phone up, wanted tickets, millions of tickets to go out, mate, thousands and thousands of tickets to go out. Raves all around the country, big raves, and that Pritchard, mate, was uh, becoming a multi-millionaire, mate, the way he was cr cracking on, you know what I mean? With that Genesis, I mean Genesis is a big, big company. I mean our our one was big, uh, who I worked with, but not as big as that. Energy wasn't that big really, comparison to Pritchard's. I mean, and we had what we had. Uh, me and my pals uh, had a rave in in a in a, uh, a big f factory warehouse, and we took about thirty grand there. And it, yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Uh, uh, yeah, I loved it, mate. I loved it, why not, you know, I mean, everybody else is doing it. We got involved and we was getting people uh, to, to, to get the ease and all that and, and, uh, and just crack on and earn plenty of money, mate. We was, that's, you know, I mean, come on, if you're only 30, 20, 30 grand for one way, it's nice, you know what I mean? But I know Pritchard was only 100 grand because he, he had, I mean, he had massive, massive big places, uh, you know, and we'd done it ourselves. I mean, we pulled out of energy away from energy and done our own ones, yeah? Why, why should we give them all the money when we can do it ourselves? But, um, as I say, Bill, Billy Blundell uh, didn't like the Essex boys at all. And, uh, you know, and I, and I remember him saying that they got to go. One day they're going to go, mate. They're just taking the piss. Two days, three days later they went. And, you know, and sometimes people can say these things. I know Billy, Billy Blundell was running people, yeah, that, some people have got that premonition that something's going to happen, yeah? And Bill was one of them people that said, they're going to go, mate. They will go without a show of doubt. And one day they're going, bump, they was gone three or four days later, dead. You know, and, and, and I always thought Bill, I mean, Bill was like a nice guy. And the other people I worked with, mate, were even, were even nicer than that, you know what I mean? Proper nice people. I worked with some proper nice people, mate. And people say that this, people say that, but they're nice people, mate. It's all about, it's all about giving them what you owe them. You give them what they owe them, and they're all right, mate. You don't give them what you owe them, and you're in trouble. And that's what it's about, isn't it? That's what my game was. I was to collect money for people, make sure that they got what they what they they give out. I was to get it back, and that was my game. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I mean, to get what I got, IPPs and all that going and. I'm lots of that in the head. I'm, I'm a nice guy now, as such, yeah. I'm a nice guy, but I get a bit mixed up with his podcasts and his videos and upset people. But what's that? You know, that's nothing, is it? Like words of mouth, words, 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 words of words, isn't it? And uh, sticks and stones. Is it what they say, sticks and stones? <laughs> sticks and stones, mate. You know what I mean? It's a joke, isn't it? These people have really couldn't stand. Anyway, um, I mean, Billy Blundell, you know, was a good fighter on the cobbles. He can have a fight, Bill. Um, he wasn't no fool. And he would, you know, if you want to fight in the cobbles, he'd give you a fight in the cobbles. Respected him for that. You know what I mean? He wasn't a coward, mate. He would stand up and have a fight with you. And, uh, you know, um, he was, I think he was, I'm not quite sure if he did turn pro, I'm not quite sure if he'd be under. But I know when I, used to, when, I, when I went and visited him, when I came out of prison, he had a ring in his front room, yeah? He had bags and all this stuff, and he had, you know, so he's de really dedicated. Anybody who's got a ring in your front room is really, 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 really dedicated to do that, you know. Uh, there are a lot, of, uh, you know, there are a few other gangsters and people that have got rings in pubs and all that, you know, have got their own pubs and they and, 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 they, and they, they train in the pubs, yeah. But Bill had it, had it in his front room. A ring in your front room, that's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> but I want to see that in Bill's house, so I call on Bill. But he, anyway, he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, and just uh, rest in peace, Billy Bundle, mate. And uh, I'm sorry that it, things happen. Uh, just in life, that happens, mate. You're going to go, you're going to go, you know what I mean? And, and that, that, that is it. And uh, we've all got bad hearts and bad this and bad that. You know, as age, as age gets hold of us, it's harder, harder to... Uh, Survive, in it, you know what I mean. So you got to keep yourself fit. That's one thing I do. I'm, I'm wanting people to keep myself fit, you know. But I'd love to get. I mean, 
you know what you... When you think about it, when you think about the way the way things went or the, with the waves and the ease and all that, you know, it's still there, isn't it? It's still there. If you could get all the grounds even now and, 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 and start waves up, and it's, why not? Why not? Why can't we do the same thing now? You know what I mean? It makes you laugh. I mean, it, you know, the amount of people who like to enjoy themselves and have a good laugh, it, it, could, it could come back, couldn't it? Because coke, it, cocaine has took over. It's took over England now. Everybody, everybody, and I think 95% out of 100 people, right, on a Friday night and on a Saturday night are on coke. Without a shadow of a doubt. Everybody's on coke. Whether or not it's infecting coke is another thing, yeah? But you don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, I've seen people take coke and go, oh, that's, that's absolute crap, burn my nose. It's like a speedy effect, and you got people go, "Oh, that's blinded." You know what I mean? You think it's all, how much? What do they do with the infectment coke? I mean, I was on. I mean, I was on coke for how long? Um, years, years, and then I got involved with a crack, crack cocaine. I could mix it myself easy, and uh, then once I got involved with a crack, mate, it was a uh, good night, night, good night, nurse for loads of people. I was just going and bully people for money. Just take their money, mate, and and if they didn't give it me, I'll just take it. You know what I mean? And it was a, and it was out of order, and uh, and I, I was lucky to lucky to lucky to get put in prison for the amount of time I did. Uh, I got off of it after about three years in prison. Uh, crack. It saved my life. It saved my life, and it saved lots of other people's lives because it's it's one of them drugs you could kill someone very easy and not even not even blink your eyes about it. You know what I mean? It's a terrible drug. Anyway, uh, this is Bang Bang Rail. Uh, please press the like button and subscribe. It's a bit late, isn't it? I like it when it's late now and again. It's nice and quiet. Mind you, I live quiet. It's really quiet, yeah? Anyway, uh, please uh, press the like button and subscribe and have a nice, have a nice evening. Take care, nice one.